I've now launched three online businesses that have all passed $30,000 per month in less than three months. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the exact blueprint so you can do it too. Step one is you need to have a hero offer. I remember starting my first ever online business and how hard it was to try and convince other people to buy my stuff. I felt like the service that I had to provide and the skills that I have were so freaking good, but just nobody would buy my things. I would try and get leads, I would try and market, I'd run paid ads, I'd get leads, and then I'd get them on a sales call sometimes, and when I got in the sales call, no one ever wanted to buy my stuff, maybe 10 to 15% of people, and I actually still grew my business that way, right? I still grew to $30,000 a month, even having a bad offer. But it just didn't seem like a no-brainer, right? My offer wasn't irresistible to the point where li people literally would be stupid for saying no to the offer. I realized that the only real reason that people even bought my thing wasn't because the offer was so good, it was just because I had a decent personal brand and I built a good chunk of that business off of referrals because I provided a good service. But to be honest, I was kind of just your average online business owner with your average offer, an average funnel, and average paid ads, and average client results, there was nothing really that special. And it's pretty easy to slap together a new offer, a new statement saying, I help these people do this with this process. It's pretty easy to slap together a new offer. It's really hard to actually do the grit work required to figure out what is a hero offer. Meaning, what do your clients want to go from zero to hero? Who is the specific person you serve and who do you not serve? What is the exact promise that the people you serve want to achieve, right? What's the outcome they want? What's the exact process you teach in order to get there? Then, how long is your program? How long is your offer? How much does it cost? What are the terms? How do you deliver it? This is what creates a hero offer. Something that's gonna take you from zero to hero and your clients from zero to hero. Doing the groundwork at the beginning to actually create a hero offer is way more work than it is to just slap together something quickly and then try and market and sell a crappy offer for the next five years. Because you could spend the next five years trying to market and sell and finally get to $30,000 a month in your business, or you could spend the next three months just thinking about how do I craft the perfect hero offer and get to $30,000 a month in three days. And you might think I'm joking with those timelines, but I am so serious. Figuring out and doing the groundwork to figure out what is my hero offer. It's like how Abraham Lincoln says, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I'll spend the first four just sharpening the blade. That's the amount of work required to build an amazing hero offer. If you want a framework for how to think about your offer, I call it the three P's. Who's the person that you serve, aka who specifically is it? If you were to think about a room full of your ideal avatar prospects and clients, who specifically are those people? What do they look like? How do they talk? How do they think? What do they want? The second thing is the promise. What promise are, they, are you making them when they join your thing, your service, your program, whatever you sell? What is the outcome they want by buying your thing? You wanna make sure the promise aligns with who your person is. And lastly, what's the process that gets them there? If you think about where your clients are currently at and where they wanna be, what is the bridge or the three steps, the five steps, the 10 steps that takes your clients from where they're currently at to where they want to be? That's the process that you walked them through. Those three things make up your offer. But then there's the logistics, the timeline, how long is it? How long does it take to achieve that promise? How much does it cost? And then how do you deliver that to them? Is it coaching, consulting, agency services? How do you deliver them? How do you get them over the bridge? What's the handrail that guides them across the bridge? The second step to getting to 30,000 a month is the social funnel. Now, at this point, I've served probably over 200 clients. And if I was to look at my clients that get the absolute best results, I'm talking they grow to 50, 80, even $100,000 a month. And then I look at my clients that get the worst results and only end up doing five or 10 grand a month and they feel like they're stuck there forever. The one thing separating these clients from these clients that feel stuck is the fact they took way too long to launch. Whenever I work with clients, we literally have what's called a hero on-ramp where we take people and within seven days, they have a new ad campaign up, running, generating them leads and getting them calls so that they can close clients. I remember when I started my coaching business, I thought that I needed to create this entire immaculate funnel. I tried to create this like these amazing ads to this amazing like web page that has like a video sales letter on it. And before that, there's an opt-in page where I collect their email, their phone number. We call those leads and we text them. We set up all the automations. We email those people and we have a whole drip campaign set up. And then they go to a call booking page after watching the VSL 
and then they book in a call themselves or they don't and then we call them to make sure they book in a call and we had all these systems set up pre emails that go out before the sales call i had all these crazy systems that i needed to set up and it created so much friction for me to just launch the funnel and instead of taking seven days to launch the funnel it took seven weeks to launch my funnel and so that's why when i work with clients now we launched the social funnel which requires zero software it requires zero other setup besides doing it all through instagram and all they need to do is create four simple assets it's three ad creatives and one video sales letter that talks about what you do and who you help that is it and so the one thing separating my good clients from the bad clients is that they just took way too long to launch and then when they launched they way over complicated it at the end of the day the only thing that really matters is how much does it cost you to get a client and how much do those clients pay you the difference between there is what you get to take home as profit and when we launched a social funnel i kid you not we don't do phone numbers we don't do emails we don't have complicated web page funnels we literally just launch our ads on Instagram, we start building our brand, we do everything through Instagram except for the actual sales call itself. So if you're watching this and you haven't already launched, implement this seven day launch system right now. Days one through three, I want you to cement your hero offer and make sure you feel extremely clear on your messaging of who you serve and what you help them do. Days three through five, I want you to focus on scripting, filming, and editing your one VSL, and your three Instagram paid ads. And then between days five and seven, I want you to launch that campaign at 50 to 100 bucks a day so that you can at least start generating leads. The best way to figure out, is my offer actually that good? Is my messaging really that good? Is to take your messaging and your offer to market and get feedback from the market. And so as soon as you launch, you're gonna start generating leads, AKA people you can contact, followers, DMs, and you're gonna be on your way to closing your very first client. Which brings me to step three, implementing the high ticket sales system. Now, before I had this high ticket sales system, my very first ever sales call that I ever took, I had no idea what I was doing. And right before the sales call, I remember going to watch a YouTube video from Alex Hermosi on how to take a sales call. I took notes an hour before, and then I took sales calls. Now, I've taken over a thousand sales calls personally, myself, and we have a sales team that's taken, I don't even know how many. And so at this point, I can confidently share with you the high ticket sales system that actually works. I actually did end up closing that very first sales call I ever took on a follow-up call. Guy's name was Mark, one of the best clients I ever had. And he took a chance on me because I had no idea how the heck to sell him on that call. And I was literally shaking on the other side of the Zoom screen, not knowing what the heck I was gonna say or what he even needed help with. And then I remembered someone told me that I should charge high ticket. So I was like, hey, maybe like 2,500 bucks a month for 30 video edits and running paid ads for him. So I pitched it, Mark, it's 2,500 bucks a month. And I was shaking. I was like, this is so much money. There's no way anybody's ever gonna pay me. And then he was like, well, what if I wanna do like 60 videos a month? like double the amount of videos. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I don't know, maybe like four grand a month. And he was like, all right, let's do it. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I remember I got the payment link ready. I dropped it in the chat, my fingers shaking as I pressed the mouse to send it. He got his credit card out, he paid, told me I was bad at sales. And then as soon as I got that call, I remember running out the room and calling my girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife, and be like, babe, I just made $4,000. And the next 10 sales calls, I figured out it was luck because uh, I didn't close the next nine or 10 sales calls that I took in the next couple days. But the good news is now I've taken over thousands of sales calls. And so I can tell you the exact high ticket sales system right now that actually works in 2024. Now, before we get to the high ticket sales system, I have a bonus step for you, which is what I call our DM appointment engine. And I wasn't gonna share this but I think you might need it, so I'm gonna share it anyway. How do you actually get people on a sales call with you to begin with? You have a hero offer, you've implemented the social funnel, so you know how to get leads on the internet and you know how to get people interested in your stuff, but how do you actually get them on a call with you to begin with? Because I could walk you through my sales framework of how to close them, but if you can't get them on the call to begin with, it's of zero help. You have to implement the DM appointment engine so you can book at least 10 sales calls a week. Do the math, if you book 10 sales calls a week, eight of them show up, can you close at least two? If you can't, well, 
That's what the high ticket sales system is for. But I think you probably can close at least two or three of those people every single week for your high ticket business. The DM appointment engine is three key steps. One is you need to connect with your prospects. Whether it's them messaging you first or you messaging them first, you have to connect with them in some way or another. This could literally be just reaching out on Instagram saying, hey, what's up? Or it could be them reaching out saying, hey, Grayson, I've watched your stuff and it looks great. You just need a way to connect with them and start a conversation. Usually I do this through Instagram, but you can do this through Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever platform you're choosing. The second step is you need to qualify them. You don't even know if this is a person that you can actually help or not. So you need to ask a couple simple questions to figure out, hey, are you somebody that I can help with my offer, yes or no? If they're not, point them towards a helpful free resource. And if they are, move to step three, which is convert them. You need to convert them by offering to jump on a call. Then once they book the call, confirming that they're actually gonna show up to that call, which now brings me to the high ticket sales system. It starts with the pre-call process. It doesn't start with the actual sales call because if the prospects don't show up to the sales call the right way with the right frame in mind, they're not gonna close no matter how good you are at sales. Our pre-sales system is all about educating the prospects before they get on the sales call, selling them on the process that you teach. If we go back to the offer, there's the person, the promise, and the process. We wanna educate people on the process that we teach, that way they show up to the sales call already sold on our process, and all we have to sell now is our program that delivers the process. So we send out emails, text messages, and DMs before the actual sales call, giving them homework of what to go watch and do in our pre-call video, in our pre-call training, to make sure they show up ready to freaking roll. Then, once they're actually on the call, I use an extremely simple framework to close them and enroll them in the program and, it, and, prevent, and prevent any objections from happening before they even get to the end of the call and have those objections. Our high ticket sales system is a simple five step system and it starts with the call introduction. Don't get on and talk about the weather in baseball, get to the point, learn one unique thing about them before you enter the call. This should be less than 30 seconds. And then you're pre-framing the call, telling them why they're here, confirming they have time to actually spend on the call. And then you're jumping straight into discovery. Now in discovery, your entire goal is to probe and dig and figure out exactly where they're currently at and what their desired situation is. You need to get extremely specific on where they're currently at, what are the problems they're facing, why are they facing those problems, what have they tried to do so far to solve those problems, who have they worked with, who have they paid, why didn't it work when they paid them. You need to go extremely deep. This is the first like 40 minutes of the sales call. Then it's figuring out what is their exact ideal scenario desired situation. You need them to paint a perfect Picasso for you of their perfect dream life and dream business and what it looks like so that you can use the, all the terrible things where they're currently at in the perfect dream life business that they have and use that in your pitch. Then you needed to transition to the pitch. You don't just jump straight into pitching. You needed to transition where they actually ask you to pitch them. And then we use what's called a hero pitch, AKA how do you take them again from zero to hero, from where they're at to where they wanna be, what is the bridge that's gonna deliver them from one side of the water to the green grass side of that water? And then step five is what is called the committing phase. This is getting them committed, temp checking them to figure out zero to 10, how do they feel, going over the next steps, and then finally the investment of your program and how much it costs, and then ultimately enrolling them into the program. And then the bonus step six, which hopefully you prevented, is objection handling. And if you enter every sales call knowing exactly how to handle every objection before it comes up, you can go into that sales call with more confidence than you could ever possibly have without it. So if you haven't done a seven day launch and implemented the social funnel yet, go watch this video right here, where I go over the exact social funnel blueprint.